that. Hi, everybody. My name is Hannah. This is Indie Buzz Rocks. We are doing sound check interviews here at RadioVenice.tv. And we are very, very fortunate and very honored today to have with us Mr. Smokey Miles. Say hi. Hi. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> Exactly. How are you all today? So I'm very excited today to find out how are you, sir? I am wonderful. Very Thank you, man. Good. Where did you come from today? Well, uh, I live in Mar Vista, which is not far, but this morning I was in San Gabriel doing a show. Oh, fabulous. What show were you doing? It was uh, for some Chinese uh, retirees. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> that sounds great. It was fun. It's awesome. kind of a country western show. I love that. With some dancers. Oh, perfect. That's perfect. And your ensemble is just perfect for the event as well. You look smashing. I thank you. And I love your glasses, your tortoise shell glasses. They are. Beautiful. <laughs> looking, looking smart. Looking smart. Okay. Should we, um, do you have any shout outs you'd like to give before we get started? A shout out to the world. Hey, world. Listen. Chill out. You're acting a little too manic these days. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you heard it right here from Mr. Smokey Miles. Okay, would you, um, in honor of Father's Day, would you please share with us um, a memory with your, um, you and your father? Sure. Well, my dad was uh, of the scientific persuasion, and so uh, we, we, he started a science club oh. uh, when, we were, when I was a little kid, and. Uh, Every Saturday, or uh, yeah, the kids in the neighborhood would come, and we do experiments, <laughs> and they they all became doctors and you know dentists and scientists. And I played the guitar. <laughs> well, that's did you well? You've been playing music. How long have you been, or when did you first start to play music? Since I was a little kid, I liked the sounds. I was. Uh, I had a, a, a thing called a, um, it was like an auto harp, but they called it a zither. It didn't have the little buttons. I found it very difficult to play because, you know, it would go like this and that. And I started making up songs, you know, it must have been four or something. And then a little bit later, I got a, when my brother was born, I was the oldest and they wanted to distract me. so. Folks got me a plastic Gene Autry guitar with little buttons on it, you know, where the, the uh, nut would be up, up, up top. And I, I decided I want to be a cowboy, you know, Gene Autry, Gordon <laughs> Rogers. And then a little bit later, uh, a dear friend of mine, she was like my sister, folks, and my parents were a little close. She started playing the guitar singing like Joe Baez, and I had to keep up with him, so I taught myself the guitar. Wow. All from one little Gene Autry plastic guitar with buttons. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. Very cool. What a lovely memory. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Um, what was the first song you learned to play? I, oh, I think it was probably uh, Tom Dooley with a little band that I put together. Hey Tom Dooley. <laughs> hang, hang down your head, Tom Dooley. Hang down your head and cry. Hang down your head, Tom Dooley. Oh boy, you're going to die. Oh, that's a sad song. Sad song. But you know, it was a classic. It was a classic at the time, right? And a yeah. composition. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. So, um, how did you come up with your name, Smokey Miles? Uh, yeah, my name is Robert or Bob, you know, but um, I was in college. I could tell you a long story, a short story, but, you know, I, I, <laughs> long story or short story? I, I, I seem, I, I, you know, I seem to be uh, intolerant to either gluten or weed or something. Jeez, my head would stub up, so I pop Sudafeds to clear my sinuses which led to about 15 years of insomnia. So I was at uh, college and I couldn't sleep. Three in the morning, I'd get on a bicycle and I'd ride around and I saw a mattress 
in that, in that college campus with smoke coming out of it. Like, I went, wow, this place is going to burn if I don't save it. So I got a hose and I put that in the mind. Wow. And then, and then a voice from the heavens said, your name is Smokey Night Rider. Because I'm riding around all night and I'm smoking. <laughs> I used it for a while for blues, uh, and then I went back to Bob. And then I, I was in San Francisco. I did a show called Dylan Words and Music, where I played Bob Dylan. It was the world's only authorized blah, 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 in 1987. That's how I came west. And when I came to L.A., I had so much of being Bob, you know, Bob, Bob, Bob. And so I signed up on a show close that I said, Smoky Models. And everybody knew me. Wow, that's so cool. I love that. What a beautiful story. Thank you for sharing that. You're welcome. Um, all right, you ready for another question? Yeah, I'm always ready. What was the <laughs> what was the first album you purchased? Purchased? Or I guess listened to or whatever. Well, I, you know when I yeah, when I was a kid, I thought, see, that's a good question. I probably don't. You know, I was into like I was into Bob Dylan. Oh, of course. And and Bedouin music. I started playing the ooze, Arabic ooze, oh, okay. when I was young. I liked the sound. So I had a reel to reel tape recorder and I recorded this Dylan album and a Bedouin album so that I could wake up in the morning and go to school. I got to a point where Wow. I knew the album so well, I'd sleep through both of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, all right then. I guess you needed a regular alarm clock, huh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Who doesn't? I need one for sure. You guys doing all right over there? I hope so. I know. Um, okay, are you ready for another question? Sure. What inspires you? Oh, my goodness. A day like this, a beautiful woman like you, the sun. Clouds, the mountains, the ocean, uh, adventures. The, the light of life, huh? Yeah. yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, would you um, please share with us three musical influences? Oh, well, I would say uh, yeah, Bob Dylan, Leonard Cohen, uh, Muddy Waters. Those are some solid, solid uh, musicians. Uh, yeah. Yes, very beautiful. I, I can feel those. I feel those oozing out of you. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Uh, with the word inspiration, what comes to mind? Air, breath, breath. Yeah. Let's see. Take it in. Inspiro. That literally means the breath, right? right the inspiring. Right. Beautiful, the word, right? Inspired yeah. from God. Okay, beautiful, thank you. Um, that. Or would you share with us um, a favorite childhood memory? I know you shared this one with your dad, but maybe you have like another. Wow. Piercing. <laughs> uh, maybe you have another childhood memory that pops to mind that you'd like to share with us. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I don't know. Yeah, I can tell this. I mean, it's with my mom. That would be perfect. Well, she's pregnant, and I told all my friends. I said, my mom's got a big belly. <laughs> said, no, really? I said, yeah, okay. Aww. They paid me a penny each. So bring them in the bathroom. She's taking oh a shower. My goodness. My mom. She's taking a shower. Wow, you were not a very good. No. That was not. And then and she didn't know what was going on. All these kids sit So around. you could see her pregnant belly. You couldn't see it. No, until the shower ended, and then I said, "Introduce him there." Green Ellen up. and she opened up the curtain. Didn't know it, and all the kids. Oh, yeah, she got a big belly. Aww. That was terrible. You know, in retrospect. You were, that was not the best childhood moment for you, was No, it? but it was quite a memory. But you loved the fact that she was that she was pregnant. You were very happy to share that memory. It wasn't even children, pregnancy. It was just a, an oddity, a big belly. You know? All right. Well, on that note, <laughs> if you
if you could be a superhero, what would you be? Oh. And why? Uh, interesting. I always, I, I always contemplated being s Superman, to be always Superman. <laughs> <laughs> it's downright stupid. That's okay. Uh, That's, you, know. you know, childhood. Childhood. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. Superman's good. Yeah, Superman is. Guy. Yeah. You're flying. You can fly. You can save, save people. people. Yeah. Take down all the bad guys. Exactly. Go all the way up into space. Exactly. It's pretty cool. Yeah. Ice crystals. Yeah. yeah. We, you know. It's <laughs> faster than a speeding you. bullet, more powerful <laughs> than a locomotive. Right. Right? That kind of can't, can't beat that. Um, okay. Is there um, something that you uh, think about as you like walk down the streets, or when you're like at home alone? Something that you like, like to help you through your day? Oh, that's interesting. These are interesting questions. Um, hmm. I just try to keep my 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 mind as empty as possible, so things will come into it, to it. And uh, a lot of times they're rhymes, you know, with the melody. Oh, okay. So the trick is to write them down fast before they disappear into the wilderness of, uh, of, of, of non-existence. Correct. And, and uh, I can understand that. I did that very successfully for many years, and then I decided I had so much stuff, you know, maybe I'll leave it alone. However, a few of these things came into my mind in the last few days, and I said, well, I'll finish making breakfast or something. And by that time, they were gone, and now I torture myself. So the goal is to remember to write everything down and the minute that you think it, okay? Immediately. Immediately. <laughs> Immediately. Immediately. Thank you very much, Smokey. It was Thank a pleasure you, to Hannah. meet you. Say bye to Smokey. Well, we're going to have a Lunas come on in. I'm not sure what time it is. Do you happen to know what time frame we're at? I can find oh, look out. Look at all your harmonicas. Well, these are just some, yeah. Is that what you play? You're going to play today? I play that with a guitar. Oh, lovely. I also play accordion. Can you show everybody on your harmonicas? I didn't see them. Yeah, I didn't know that. I thought you were... Now I see they all... Oh, they're by the Oscar. Well, this one's a honer, but these are Lee Oscars. Majority now I have are Lee Oscars. And I tell you something, I met Lee Oscar the other day on a Zoom. Wow. And this man is incredible. He's been making harmonicas for how many years now? They're beautiful I don't, harmonicas. Yeah, they are beautiful, yeah. they sound great, they're strong. But, you know, he plays, he's a master. He was in the band War. Oh, yes, that's... Um... With Eric, well, then he played with Eric Burton. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, he, he I didn't played, know that. He played with many, many people. He's an artist and a... Stanley Behrens plays in the band more. Who lives? Stanley Behrens. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, he, I, I didn't meet him. Too. He plays at Radio Venice a lot, too. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. you'll have to meet him. You guys will have to have a harmonica jam out. All right. We look forward to hearing your music. Thank a little you, bit of country yeah. and a little...